this is our liquid soap dispenser I've just printed out this because what I found is that the uh, contacts for the batteries somehow the water's getting although it's stood off the base has these like small standoffs feet see that's about uh, maybe three millimeters high there somehow water's getting in it's jumping that gap it seems to be and uh, the contacts are getting rusty I just check these batteries out these batteries I need some new batteries in actually so you might see the rust there it seems mainly on one side if I show you the other side it's nowhere near as bad see so that side's not too bad I've already sanded this down quite a bit to try and get most of the rust off. Well, I thought I'll do this stand like this to hold it off the base even higher. Like so. I'll put these back in and these, these are getting weak, these batteries. Oops, one of them's rolled off. I'll just show you the base thing I've made. So it's got these holes in for any water to run down. And it's got quite a sharpish edge up there. So that water can't, hopefully can't climb up. And obviously the height of it itself. pop the batteries in and I'll show you it working well and we'll have a look at it so sort of working it's quite good apart from that oh there is an issue with it it has this infrared that comes up here like an infrared beam and when it does come to time of changing the batteries quite often you're wanting to hold it like this to pick it up change the battery but that breaks the beam and it starts the, the unit starting and it will lose soap mixture, well, liquid soap onto you. It's a three way switch either off, on, on with a bit of a, well, can't really call it music, but a bit of a tune. So I've got this antibacterial hand wash, help against COVID. And one good thing it does have this sort of so you can tell how much liquid you are putting in it's enough there is a mark on here on this side so we don't go above that a little bit lower that's okay mm, smells quite nice this liquid soap Pop the top in. It doesn't screw, it's just more of a like a bayonet. So you just turn it a little bit. Just turn it on. See so that's the sound, but uh, as I say the batteries are running down. Now sometimes you'll have to wait a few seconds when you turn it on before it'll start working. So you can hear the sound there. And if you want to adjust it for a small amount of soap, you just a little bit okay. You can get the ID there. So I think that will work. I'll have to test it. I'll come back in a few days and see if it's working okay.